Now here's a question for you. If I'd asked you in January this year, how many heroes do you think we'll be getting in Battlefront 2 in 2019? What would you have said? Because I would have said more than two. But at the same time here, before everybody thinks I'm complaining, was two heroes this year just two heroes fair? Because it's not just like they've only added heroes. We got way more reinforcements than first expected, some surprise maps as well, skins, and a whole lot more. Now if we go back to 2017 after Battlefront 2 launched in November, in December we were given Phasma and Finn as heroes, in 2018 we were given Obi-Wan and Grievous, and it's looking like in 2019 Anakin and Dooku are going to be the only two heroes. Which is disappointing to an extent, I think a lot of us were expecting Ahsoka this year, Ventress this year, possibly Django, Cad Bane or Padme, some of these guys, even episode 9 heroes, which isn't looking too likely. And despite how long heroes must take to make and the amount of effort that goes into them, especially one like General Grievous, I think we should be expecting a few more heroes in a year, especially considering the last one was in February. That's the thing, the two heroes that were added were in the first two months of the year, so you would think it's an excellent start, when in reality, no other heroes have been added. But reinforcements does make up for this in a lot of ways because we all wanted clone commandos, we all wanted droidicas, and they added those to the game. But not just those, when they first announced art troopers and commando droids, I myself was thinking, okay, they're probably just adding these two because they can't perfect the droidicas, and who knows with the clone commandos. But in reality, we were given four reinforcements, which sometimes a reinforcement can be as complicated to make, I'm sure, as a hero. Especially when you're looking at a droidica, like, what do you think is more intense and, I suppose, difficult to make? Would you say a droidica, or would you say Obi-Wan Kenobi? I would be placing my money on a droidica being harder to make. So as far as hero mechanics go, I suppose you could say six heroes. Dooku, Anakin, Art Troopers, Commando Droids, Clone Commandos, and Droidicas. But then again, Art Troopers just play like normal infantry really, with a few minor changes, and I suppose the Commando Droids, minus their insanely incredible looking helmets, do they perform that much differently from a normal trooper? Droidicas obviously are very different, Commando Droids are pretty different as well. But out of that big flood of content that was promised at EA Play in 2018, reinforcements were never on that list. So originally, if we concluded 2019 with just Dooku and Anakin and no reinforcements, I would say, you know what, I don't think this is acceptable. But the fact that we stand here today with these four surprise reinforcements which weren't even on the table at least to our knowledge back in 2018 is incredible. Do I still think the hero situation is acceptable? Not entirely. Should commando droids and art troopers have been added? Like I said I thought they were originally added to make up for droidicas and clone commandos not being in the game, but the fact that they were made it does cluster the game with a lot of reinforcements which is a bit annoying sometimes, I never really thought about that when I wanted all these reinforcements a year ago. But I would have said maybe instead of the Commando Droid and the Art Trooper they could have worked on some more heroes, however I'm not complaining about these two in the game. The Commando Droid is like one of my favourite things in the entire game. Maybe they could have just squeezed out two more heroes and that could happen with the Rise of Skywalker content, however it's looking very unlikely. They seem to be focusing on more reinforcements with that, which once again, as far as new characters, not necessarily heroes, but new characters, they've done a good job this year of creating some new assets for this game that do play differently. Like I said, the Arc Trooper and the Clone Commando could be considered to be very similar to infantry, but they do play differently with different abilities, different type of weapons, and yeah, I, to be honest here, a job has been done this year, and I would say a successful job. I think EA and DICE have taught us something, and that's that we don't always need to focus on new heroes as being a highlight of an update or a new map, that reinforcements can do the job, and I think they've done an excellent job themselves with that this year, and I will congratulate them on that. But I do think just two more heroes, and that's all I'm saying, just two more this year, could have done the work. And hey, if that does happen with the Rise of Skywalker content, then you will have fulfilled my dream for this year. Probably Ahsoka Ventress coming for the return of the Clone Wars in February 2020, it would make sense. But to answer the question, is two heroes this year acceptable? 
not necessarily. I feel they've made up for it in other areas, definitely, but not necessarily acceptable. However, it's not to the point where I'm angry at them, I'm distraught about it. I just think they could have done a little better in regards to the heroes. But thank you very much for watching everyone, let me know your opinions on this, let's hope 2020 gets flooded with new heroes, however I'm not going to get my hopes up, just in case. I do want to see Ahsoka though. Thank you very much for watching, I will see you all next time.